Guys, in this particular verse of the Quran, chapter 3, verse 32, and chapter 30, verse 45, we see two things. We see that Allah does not love the unbelievers, and it boils down to a simple principle, the principle of who God is. You see, guys, if you consider God to be all-loving, God loves everybody, God wants people to be saved, and you find out that at the end of the at some point in the history of God, he hated some of his own creatures, some of his own creation, then there is a problem with that particular person called, who is identifying himself as God. Allah, for example, the God of the Muslims, deciding in these verses, chapter, chapter 3, verse 32, says, See, obey Allah and his apostle, but if they turn their back, Allah loveth not those who reject faith. So we have in this passage very clearly that Allah does not love anybody who rejects faith. The second passage we're going to be seeing is uh, chapter 30 verse 45 says that he may reward those who believe and work righteous deeds out of his bounty, for he loves not those who reject faith. So we have again this second passage, Allah does not love those who reject faith. And then at the end of the day, we are going to be finding in some other verses of the Quran uh, where um, uh, Allah is actually asking Muslims to go and kill the kill the Jews and the Christians. Quran chapter 9 verse 39, verse 29 and so on and so forth. There are so many passages. First thing I would also like to mention, guys, is very which is very important is this. According to the whole of the whole of history, who is the person who causes people to go astray? Because we have somebody identify himself as the creator of all things, and then he himself is causing people to go astray. And he himself created heaven and hell, and he himself is causing people to go astray and to leading them to go to hellfire. Like, for example, the creation, let's, let's just take these two verses before I take the creation of Christianity. According to Islam, how was actually Christianity created? It was created simply because more, um, uh, 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 Allah actually put a fake person on the cross who was resembling one to one Jesus Christ and it was made to appear to all the Jews and all the Roman soldiers that it was Jesus Christ on the cross. Meanwhile, for the Muslims, why in the Quran chapter 4 verse 157 says that it was not actually Jesus Christ, but it was made to appear to the people so that they should be believing that that is actually Jesus Christ. And so by believing that it was Jesus Christ, they spent their whole eternity up to now, uh, six uh, uh, 1,400 years later, they come and change the whole thing and saying that no, uh, 600 years after Christianity was already created, they came and kind of like changed the whole thing and said no, it was not it was not actually Jesus Christ, it was somebody else and uh, Jesus did not die but it was Allah who actually made the people to believe that it was Jesus Christ on the cross and by believing it was Jesus Christ on the cross uh, they saw the same Jesus again a few days after, three days after he was dead, arose from the dead and then they believed in Christianity, Allah created the entire Christianity by that doing just because of the cross and so, uh, 600 years later, come and say, hey guys, it was not actually Jesus Christ. So he's actually causing people to go astray. We have 600 years, six different generations of believers going all according to Islam straight to hell. Even though according to Islam again, in some passages, Quran chapter 2 verse 62, saying that everybody, even star worshippers, even the Serbians, that started the star worshippers, the Jews, are going to have access to heaven. So, the person who is in charge of causing people to go astray, according to the definition which is found in the Bible, it's called Satan. Satan is the one trying to mislead people all over the Bible. People who are disobeying God, it is Satan who is causing those people to go astray. And then we have here in the Quran that Allah is the one causing people to go astray. Chapter 2 verse 26 says, says the chapter 2 verse 26, and then you can put a pause and read it. And then chapter 7 verse 150 Five, and then I'll just highlight the part, the part which it says, the part which is actually saying that he causes people to go. He causes many to stray, and um, um, thou causes whom thou wills to stray. So, and those are the parts of those two verses which is actually making sure that we understand that he who Allah 
causes people to go astray. Also, we have in the same Quran, I do not put the verse here, I do not, I do not uh, find the verse. Uh, he guides, it's actually found every, if you, I think, if you, if you, early beginning of the Quran, he guides whom he wants and he misleads who he wants. And then you will find it all over. You will find it all, almost all over, all over, all over the Quran where Allah is actually guiding whom he wants to guide. And um, yeah, this is the verse, the, the verse where the Christians are going to go to heaven, chapter two, verse uh, chapter two, verse sixty-two, which is making them now the, the star worshiper, the Sabians, and anybody who believes in anything will have access to heaven. And then Allah is the one making people to guide. He puts a curse on some people, and then he guides whom he wants, and then he misguides whom he wants to misguide. So I'll just beg you guys: the only person that you can actually believe, which is the God of love, is actually found in the Bible, and his name is Jesus Christ. And it says here in John chapter 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son in the world to condemn the world, but that the world should be saved through him. That the world should be saved through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe in him stands condemned because they already because they already you see it here guys because they already believe because but whoever believes in him is not condemned but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of god's one and only son so that is the verdict and you can read the rest for yourself May this passage makes us understand God loves everybody. He wants everybody to be saved. He's fighting. He even gave his only begotten son so that you and me shall be saved. So if you truly believe in Jesus Christ, you will be saved. Give your life to Christ. Stay blessed.